guys, welcome to Board Games in a Minute. I am going to walk you through a couple of rounds of tournament fishing. So tournament fishing is a deck building game that is designed by, let me see if I can get that there, Greg Meller, and it is published by TGG Games. This is for one to four players. So in this game, you are going fishing. So I have it set up for a two player game. You set up your lake decks and you, again, put, you know, the number of cards depends on the number of players. Your lake decks are comprised of fish that you are trying to catch and different event cards that you will need to resolve. Um, on the top, you have the bait shop, which you know you can go shopping in. Below each lake deck, um, there is a location card which affects that location specifically. Then there is the weather deck, which I believe is optional. Um, I believe the locations are optional as well. The weather deck affects um, you each round. And you have your clock deck, which times the whole game. It goes from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So each player has their standard 10 cards, and then um, before you begin, each player will randomly get a, um, a, oops, that's not it. Each player will randomly get a fishing pole card and a boat card, and you will shuffle those into your deck, and then you will draw six cards to begin the game. So Dobby also, so I'm playing against my cat Dobby, and I think we know he's going to win because cats are the better fishers, I think. So Dobby will go second. So he is going to shuffle in his boat and fishing pole as well. Okay. Alright. So I'll begin. So I'm going to use this fish token that the game came with as the player marker. Um, so let's... Oops, I should not be looking at my deck, so let me just shuffle that quickly again. Okay. So six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so right now it is windy, so it says a cast must be played or else minus two strength for your lure. And I get an additional two strength for it being 6 a.m. So the first phase of any turn is the search phase. If you have a search card, you can scan the lake deck to see if there's any kind of fish that might bite. Unfortunately, I do not have a search card in hand right now. So the next phase is the cast phase where I can play a lure card. So I am going to play this. Let's see, what should I play? I guess I will play this card, which is the worm. It's a live bait lure. Um, so I'll play that. And then you can play one cast card if you have it. So I do. So I'm going to play this cast card, which will increase my cast strength by two. So right now I'm at a cast strength of four. And a cast card needed to be played or else we would have lost a strength of two. Then you can play as many present cards as you have. Unfortunately, only one of these present cards will apply because this one applies to live bait lures. So I can play this one. So now I'm ready to take a look at these lake decks. So you have the option, you can look at two cards. So you can take a peek at one. If that's a fish that will bite, great. Then you can see if you're able to catch it. If not, then you can put that one back and then take a look at another one. So, or if you draw an event card, then you resolve the event card and then you go to your buying phase. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this is not a fish I can fish for because that has a yellow diamond on it. So I get a second attempt, and for my second attempt, I'll look at this one. Okay, so this one I can fish for. So it requires either a black circle or that orange pentagon. So, and it requires a strength of six, I believe, or two, is it two or six? There's two numbers here. Let's just double check again because I want to make sure I'm looking at the right number. Hmm. Okay. So it says uh, the results on a fight card. No, that's not it. Hmm. All right. I know this part of the video is boring, but I just want to double check which card, which thingy I look at. Okay. So if there's two, hmm. Strange, I do not see it. Angler, fish power, fish alternate point value. Okay, so that's just an alternate point value. So I do need a power of just two. So that's great. So I have a power of two, so I can go fishing for this fish. So now I'm required to roll these colored dice and I will have to discard cards 
in order to catch this fish. So in order to catch this fish, I need to discard a green fish, which I do have, but also this card symbol, which I don't have. So I wonder if I can re-roll. I think I'm allowed one re-roll because I see that one symbol there. So let's just double check. After the initial roll, this symbol means to re-roll any blank fight dice. No, I can't. So, okay, I don't have this symbol to discard, so I don't catch this fish, unfortunately. So he will go back to the top of the deck, and I believe I got him from this deck. Let me just double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, something else. the top of this one. All right. So, unfortunately, I didn't catch that fish, but now I can go buying a card or two or whatever I can afford. So I only have $3, so actually I can only buy one card. Um, so I think I will buy this one, and any cards you buy will go in your hand, and then the cards you use to buy it will be discarded. However, if you are using a lure card to um, bite, uh, or um, rather to buy something, it needs to go in the bait bucket, if it says that. Um, So actually, not, not even if it just says that, I think it just has to go in the bait bucket. So I'm going to use, actually I'm just going to use these two. I think I'll discard my real card and my fly rod fishing pole, not this card. So I'm not going to put anything in the bait bucket. So that is my turn. Okay, so now it will be Dobby's turn. So Dobby is going to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see if Dobby has any scan cards. He does. So Dobby has this card, which he is going to play to scan a lake spot and then draw a card. So right now, Dobby has these two lore cards in his hand. So he is going to scan this. And it's a yellow diamond, which he has. So he now he knows that that's there, so he might want to go fishing here. So now he can draw a card because that says he can draw a card. So now he can play a lure. So he's going to play this because he knows that that's what's there. And it's an artificial lure. So now let's see if he has a cast card. Oh no, he does not have a cast card to play. So he's going to lose a strength of two. Well, that's not good. But he does have present cards. So he's going to play his present card for an artificial lure which will add a strength of one. So that brings him up to three minus two, so it actually brings him back to one. Um, and then he is going to play, well, first he's going to pick up the card. Actually, he's going to play his fishing rod, which will bring him up to three. And then he's going to pick up that card that he looked at, and it requires a strength of four. So right now he has three, four, five, minus two, which brings him back to three, and he needs four. So he has this hook, so that will bring him up to the right amount. So now he can roll these dice and see if he is able to catch this fish. Okay, so he needs to discard two cards like that in order to catch that fish, and unfortunately he can't do that. He only has a one of those symbols, so he does not catch the fish either. So. Oh, actually, I messed up. So when you can't catch a fish, it goes to the bottom of the deck. My bad. So yes, that goes to the bottom of the deck. So um, now he can go shopping if he wants to. Um, Dobby will... I don't think Dobby... Does Dobby want anything? He only has $2. And the only thing that costs $2 is this, and I don't... Eh, I don't think Dobby wants that. So he's just going to keep these cards and discard those. Okay, so now it is going to be clear skies and it is 7 a.m. and it says draw a card to draw, discard a card to draw a card and there's no weather effect this time. Okay, so we're back to me, so I have two cards in hand. So one, two, three, four. All right. So this time I do have a search card, so I can scam two lake spots. Um, so let's see, I'm just checking to see which kind of lures I have. So right now I have three different types of lures in my hand. Let me just see 
I can scan two lake spots. Okay, I don't want that because that's an event. Oh, I probably shouldn't have looked at this. I think I already knew what this was from the last round. Okay, but I think I, I can try to get this fish. It's a muskie, and I think I can try to get that here. But this location says that I must play at least one present to make a cast attempt here, but I can do that. Um, so I'm just going to look at it again. Okay, yeah, so that was this one. Okay, so I'm going to play this card, and then I have a cast card, which I can play um, to strengthen my lure, and then I'm going to play this present card because it says you have to play a present card to make um, a cast attempt here. So now I'm going to flip over this card, and it is a muskie. I've met the requirements for it, so now I have to roll this die and this die to see if I can catch it. Yes, oh no. It's a pop. A pop means I permanently lose a lure card. Um, so that's unfortunate, and I don't catch the fish. So the fish will go to the bottom of the deck. I did not catch him and I permanently lose my lure card from the game. So that is unfortunate. Okay. So now I can buy a card if I want to. Do I want to buy a card? I don't think I do. So I think I'm just going to discard these and that's going to be my turn. So now it's back to Dobby. Let me just double check the pop rule again. I think I did it correctly, but I just want to double check one more time. Yes, the result of a fight means that your fish gets away and you lose your lure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. It's definitely going to make the game harder. Mm. Harder for me. Okay, so Dobby has two cards. He's going to draw four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. What does Dobby have? Okay, Dobby does not have a search card, so he can't search the lake. Dobby does have, does he have a lure? Um, yes, which lure should he play? All right, he's gonna play this one. He's gonna play this uh, green, lime green hexagon, which is a salmon eggs lure. He is going to then play a cast card, which he has, which will increase his lure um, strength by two. Um, and now he's going to look. I think he'll look here first. Okay, okay, that, that is, is not, not the right, right kind of fish. fish. We'll put that back. We will look here. Okay, okay so that's an event. It says discard a card. Okay. In event, event cards, once they're resolved, they get put away. So Dobby is going to discard a card. And that is his turn. Well, no, he can buy something if he wants. So he has $3. Um, I think Dobby will spend... $3 to buy this. It's a spinner, an artificial lure. One play, you choose any of the symbols and say it aloud. The lure becomes that chosen color. That seems like a good card. Well, that will go in his hand and the will be discarded. So when you um, use lure cards to buy a card, they go into the bait buckets. So these will be put into the bait buckets. And anyone can buy cards from the bait bucket. So that's the nice thing. Okay, so... Um, these are discarded, and it is going to be back to me. All right, let's just do one more round. I think that would be good. So it's going to be 8 a.m., so that will add a cast phase of 1 um, hook. And it is windy. A cast must be played or else minus 2 hooks. So that is not good. All right, so... This is Dobby's card. Okay, so me, I am going to draw six, one, two. Hmm. Well, so far, none of us have caught any fish, so I guess Dobby is not the better fisher like I thought he would be. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we have. Um. I do have a search card, so I'm going to play that, which will let me scan two lake spots. So let me see which lures I have this time. So this time I have... Okay, well, I don't have any lures, so, so no lure cards to play, um, and this doesn't let me do anything that would be helpful to me. Um, but I can still scan two lake spots, so maybe I'll see like an event card that I might want to do. Okay, so that's a fish. And that's also a fish. Okay, so I can't cast because I don't have any lures. 
Um, so at this point, I will go to the buying phase. And I have one, two, three, four, five dollars. Um, I'll buy this one, this outboard motor for three dollars. And it allows me to draw two cards. So I will discard this one and this one and, and this one. So I'm going to discard three present cards to get that card. Okay, so that is my turn. Now it's back to Dobby. So Dobby needs to draw up. So he's got two cards. Let's see what Dobby gets. Alright, so now we have to draw four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Dobby has no search cards, but he does have some lure cards. Okay, so a cast must be played or else minus two because it's windy again. So Okay, so Dobby only has one lure card at the moment. So oh, no, actually he has this one that he just bought. When play, choose any of the symbols and say it aloud. This lure becomes that chosen color during the cast phase. Um, well, that's still risky. Um, I don't know which one I should yell. Um, okay, I'm going to say the um, hexagon. Now, this might be cheating since I'm playing as two characters. I think this was a hexagon. So I'm going to, well first he needs to play his cast card because otherwise he'll get minus two. And then he also needs to play his present card. So that's an artificial lure. So he's going to play this one. Okay, so I think it was this one. Ah yes, okay, so here we go. So he needs a strength of six to get that. So he has three and four right now. And he can play a book card. So during this part of the game you can play this. So that brings him up two, three, four, five, six, and now he can roll these dice to see if he is able to catch that fish. Let's hope so. Okay, so he needs a fish and, oh no, he has two fish symbols. He does not catch the fish. That is unfortunate. Wow. Okay. So this will go to the bottom of the deck. Unfortunately, Dobby did not catch this fish. Let me just tell you what happens if you do catch a fish. If you catch a fish, you put it into your live well pile, and then by the time the game is over, whoever has the fish weighing the most will win. So when you weigh your fish, I'm just going to look at this, of course you count the number of hooks that was needed, um, so that will be its weight. If there are two numbers on the fish card, like there were on the one that's at the bottom of the stack, or maybe it was the bottom of the other deck, then you look at the bottom number. So you look at the bottom number for its weight. So in this case, this one would be six, and this one would be five. And then whoever has the most weighing fish, the heaviest weighing fish, will win. So that's how the game goes. So I think this gave you a pretty good overview of how this game is played. So the first thing you do is search if you have any search cards, then you cast, then you reel in the fish if you were able to actually find a fish that you were able to fish for, and then you see if you can actually get that fish during the fight phase. And instead of rolling these dice, there are fight cards you can use instead if you want to use cards instead of dice. I like dice, I like the chunky feeling of these, and I love custom dice. So of course I wanted to use the custom dice. Um, and then you have your buying phase and cleanup, and gameplay will continue in that fashion. So unfortunately we did not catch any fish today, but maybe next time. Alright, so that is a couple of rounds of tournament fishing, and if you like the folding games, then you should check this one out. Okay, until next time, bye! <laughs>